little while back, like a couple months ago, they re-released a GameCube game known as Donkey Kong Jungle Beat on the Wii. Now, of course, the Wii controls will not have the usual bongo controls. They'll have be using the uh, Wii Remote and Nunchuck, but I am a purist, so I think the only way to play this is with a set of these. Yeah, baby, I have the bongos. All right, the controls are as follows. Keep pressing the left drum to move left. Keep pressing the right drum to move right. Hit both drums at the same time to jump. Uh, stay stationary and hold both drums for like a second or two and then release them. You'll do a backflip, which will also cause a combo. And clap your hands to make Donkey Kong do his clap attack. So, now that I have explained the history behind this game and how I'm going to play it. Let's get to the walkthrough. Wait, did I say walkthrough? Yes, I did. I'm doing DK Jungle Beat. Woohoo! <laughs> ah, yes. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Nothing says lower your inhibitions than a set of bongos better than this game. Now I will not, I repeat, I will not restart my game file because I have a ton of medals on here to unlock all the kingdoms in the game. So I'm just going to be doing a stage run and showing you guys how to get the most out of each uh, stage as best as I possibly remember. <laughs> so let's start the opening ceremony because there's pretty much, um, you know, it's opening, it's Gotta be shown. Clap, clap, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, you clap three times, the opening ceremony starts. There's DK, he's looking cool. Yeah, he's king of the jungle, baby. All right, and you remember, hit the left bongo to go to the left, hit the right bongo to go to the right, and you move pretty fluently in this game despite how it looks. I mean, despite how you might think it would look. Jump, hit both bongos, boof, like that. And hold both bongos, just like this. Hey, hey, well, I said hold both, hold on. Hold, I want to do the backflip thing, y'all. Well, let me do the backflip right now. I don't know why. But jump up here, clap your hands, and punch the tree by, hit, by hitting both bongos like that. And you get the barrel, and would you look at that? It's the title screen, kind of. Well, it's like a second title screen or whatever. So that's basically the intro thingy showing you how to play through the game. It's a very brief little uh, opening to... Um, to teach you how to go through the game, but I thought I'd do it for fun. Build up your combo count rooms to increase your beat total. I'll show you how to do that. The, uh, the more uh, your combo combo counter is, the more multiplying points, like as it's as it's shown there, the more it'll multiply your points for each banana or thing you collect. Performing consecutive aerial, aerial moves in the initiates a special combo counter. Collecting bananas on this state earns you more beats than normal. String together multiple combos to collect even more beats. And that's basically the idea of the game, is to get high scores for each level while saving the kingdom from the evil Cactus King. So, let's start the Banana Kingdom. And get ready to clap your hands. There you go. And, and uh, yeah, you see these bugs here? Let's see. We'll see them scatter. Clap your hands next to them. They'll turn to an arrow or something. So pay attention to where those glowing bugs are because they will help you. And woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> By the way, when you clap your hands next to things, you can either collect things. Stun enemies. Uh, um, oh, I should have comboed it like this to get more points. You can get points by uh, more points, I should say, by bouncing yourself or gripping off of things like stuff like this, like that. See, I made a two combo. Now, if I would have did that two combo and then clap my hands to get those bananas, I would have got double the points there. So I kind of messed it up, <laughs> but whatever. I'm just getting used to the controls once again. Whee! I love this game so much. A lot of people think that this is a rhythm game, which is probably why it gets passed up a lot. But no, it's not. Clap your hands by this big guy, then land on him, and then punch the heck out of him by hitting the bongos like a madman. And you'll get a ton of points and kill that baddie. Woo! And grab the monkeys by clapping. Jump to get to the other side, and clap next to this banana to eat it, and then bonus stage, pound those bongos to get as many points as you possibly can. Ah! 
I got 62. I got 275 points for the first level. I highly doubt I'll beat my best beat total for the level, because when I used to play this game, I used to play it a lot, and I got fairly good at it. Uh, of course, I know there's a lot of people that are better at it. Hey, hey let, let go of that thing, okay? Oh, yeah, okay, here, I forgot to show you the wall kick. Okay, you gotta run towards the wall, just like this, jump, and then press right, I mean, press left and right. I'll, I'll show that again. Hey, let go of me! <laughs> Just go like that, left, then right, and up. So jump at a wall, left, right, left, right, and clap to get on this thing if you want to. And if you get a ton of these flowers, uh, wait, where's the rest of the flower? Oh, I guess I can collect more later. Oh, now I can do the backflip thing, okay. Clap, stun this guy, and jump on him, and pound on the dot, go DK, go! Yeah! Okay, here's the backflip. Hold both bongos at the same time. Why can't I... Do I have to be doing a little, little slide thing to do the backflip? Uh, I forgot how to do the backflip, actually. I know you have to hold both bongos at the same time. I just did it while I was on those dang mushrooms. Anyway, while you're floating with this thing, you can use the air currents to get yourself moving upward from those fl weird-looking lippy flower things. <laughs> they look like they want to kiss you, but I wouldn't kiss them. They look kind of dirty. <laughs> So, aw, oh, it's blowing me away from the bananas. I'm not gonna bother to collect all the bananas. Oh, I got, I did manage to collect all the bananas. And I'm gonna clap my hands to make a bubble appear here, land on the bubble, and then jump off the bubble, hit the bananas, and get a whole lot of points because my multiplier was comboing all the way through. Keep clapping your hands to pop those dang ginormous fish or whatever the heck they are. Go up here, left, right, left, right, make a bunch of mushrooms. Woo! Yeah, come on my way, <laughs> and that's the end of the stage. Banana bonus time! <laughs> I usually get about the same amount of bananas. Every three stages, you get. Or I should say every two stages. The next one is a boss stage. The bosses in this game are pretty simple. They they spice them up every couple rounds, but this one is first versus Dreadkong. Alright, basically it's a boxing match. Left bongos, left hand, right bongos, right hand, clap to dodge backwards like that. Whoops, I just made a mistake there. Just wait for him to punch, and then, uh, when, then when, he, when he's about to punch, clap your hands to dodge, like that, and then punch, and then combo attack him. Yeah, baby. Clap, dodge, punch him. And then he starts getting all ornery because I'm kicking his butt. Clap. Oh, he got a little faster there. And I'm just basically messing around here, actually. <laughs> He's not nothing really to worry about. He's pretty easy, but he should be. He's the first boss of the game. Clap, and he's done because he won't be able to come back from this. And that's it for Dread Kong. Celebrate, DK. You have earned it. Now... How your gold, how your medals are determined depends on how many beats you have. The beats are actually your life energy, so you will actually have a pretty hard time dying in this game, to tell you the truth. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's something like uh, 800 beats for gold, 600 or 500 for silver, and 300 for bronze. They're indicated by those little logs. Uh, attached to the side of that tree, you know, the, the little wood things, and then after each stage, you can uh, uh, watch a little movie here to see how you can get more points. See, like, uh, combo up there, and fly up there, and yeah, I kind of forgot to do that, didn't I? <laughs> I just ran right into those froggy fish things down there. That was before that waterfall uh, wall jump cavern before. So, uh, yeah, that's basically the uh, beginning of the game. I just thought I'd explain everything all in this one part. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next part when we take this game a little more seriously. Okay, maybe not. As I said, lower your inhibitions and play with the bongos. It's dang fun. See you guys in the next part.